I met a gypsy. You get all the haters and you get it and it's like, oh, Todd Berman's some Red Bull. Like, he's not a Red Bull athlete. And then it's like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was like the thing too. Like, beforehand, I like, I'd, I'm, the, I'm not the greatest person to be told what to do. Like, yeah. I kind of like tend to shut down sometimes, like when I'm told what to do. And like, at first I was like, you know, I was asking people and it was like, I just, you know, just outside looking in, it's like such a prestigious company. I'm like, man, it might be like too gnarly, you yeah. know, like being, I mean, told, I was, da- Hey, I'm not, not gonna lie. I was like, I don't, does Willie fit? Yeah, for sure. Know. No, 100%. And and then, and that's knowing like a lot of the ins and outs of the company as well. Not just yeah. you. That, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like I, I've, I've had friends that ride for the company or, or people that work for the company or whatever. And like, I haven't really heard too much, but just the outside looking in, like, just like it you're like seems, MI Red Bull. It, yeah. yeah, like it seemed gnarly. Like, am, it, it, is this me or is it not? You know what I mean? And I was like on the fence, and then I just woke up one day, and I'm like, man, like you'd be it, fucking retarded if you said I would. No. Yeah, I absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, and credit to like Twitch and Twitch's wife. Like, you know, Twitch is saying one thing, but I was talking to Twitch's wife, and she's like, like straight up, just just like told me she's like grabbed me, and she's like literally both hands on my face and she's like Tyler you're a fucking idiot if you don't take this and I'm no like shit. and I'm like whoa and she's like what would you rather see on your on your wall when you get older a bunch of weed maps helmets or do you want red bull helmets and I'm like <laughs> it's the top bingo yeah. like I'm an idiot if I don't take this like so <clears throat> Yeah, like this, you know, one hundred percent. Like I, I, I was back and forth, and I'm just like, I, I, I won't ever know unless I try, you know. And you'd way rather get fucking fired from Red Bull, dude. <laughs> could, could you imagine? Than say could no you? To Red Bull, could, you know I was gonna saying? say, yeah. Could you imagine like not having those sponsors, getting like going all through this, like, like not ever like I was. It's not like I went to them and like, yeah, hey, I want to be on Red Bull. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Would, it's like probably the coolest thing though. Yeah, and and I never like you know, and then it's just like. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> like, I'm like, uh, with all due respect, guys, sorry. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, dude, it's just one of those things, man. It's like, I had all my friends. Like, I, I grew up down the street from this guy named Jake Zemke. And at the time, Jake Zemke rode street bikes for American Honda, mm. raced the AMA Superbike circuit. And I went to all the races with him and stuff. And um, <clears throat> he was sponsored by Red Bull. And, like, just him wearing a Red Bull hat all the time and seeing that and like even like Jesse Nelson Jesse yeah. is one of my best friends growing up and shout out to Jesse shout out to Jess Fucking for sure Lord. Lord um so yeah just seeing like those red bull hats i'm like dude it was always like oh how fucking sick would it be yeah. like red bull helmet dude like oh, dude even you know? like um Sorry, Brian, but I stole a Red Bull towel <laughs> off a friend that we know that works there <laughs> and uh for my golf bag and like <laughs> Come get it, Scott. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so it's like even just me having that, like I have that on my golf bag, which like never fucking comes out anyway. But it's like there's something like super prestigious and like even people randomly like, oh my God, how did you get that? Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's such an iconic thing that even a fucking towel on a random dude's Dude. golf bag and they've done such a good job of creating that that's been crafted over like a really really long time they've built it for themselves like it's crazy like just putting that hat on like i've ran into dude you would have felt like a million bucks the first time you saw yourself in a fucking mirror or like an instagram with like a red bull hat on you like damn i'm legit well no it's funny like i i like was at a one of those fest series stops in norway and my buddy mackin you were one of the where do you have you ever heard fest series Fest series is a mountain bike. It's all the free ride mountain bike guys oh, used to do the free ride right yeah. world tour, joyride, yeah. all that shit. They all got over contests. So they basically made their own their yeah, own yeah, contest yeah. that they basically get all their homies. They fly in for a week. Someone builds a super sick course and they just jam the course and film it for a week straight. And at the end of the week, all the riders judge on each other oh, who has the cool. best whip, best best line, best trick, you know, all that stuff. And like. I, you know, fortunately I met all those guys and I'm like super like, you know, inspired by those guys. Like they're making like the sickest lines and the Ram it's free ride, you know, like they take free ride to a whole new level. You know what I mean? So, um, I was at one of those events in Norway and I was riding a dirt bike at, at like on the mountain bike line with those guys. And, and anyways, Mac and rides for, for Red Bull. And I like, was like stole one of his hats and like put it on and I'm like, took the selfie of myself. I'm like, Oh 
No, so is this when like no the one. Red Bull deal was in talks or like completely before? I, yeah, yeah, I was definitely in talks with them, but I at that point I just it was just one of those things that was like still like kind of felt far I away. just felt like it was out of reach it's one of those things like I never in a million years would I thought that so I'm like uh, like it'd be s- fucking amazing but I just don't yeah. know if it's gonna happen you know like yeah. and at that point like it's almost like maybe I didn't like believe in myself enough or maybe mm. I didn't think I was worthy of that you know what I mean 